Hello listeners, my name is Israel Goodness Balogun. I welcome you again on my platform, Wholeness Africa Initiative. We will be continuing our series that are titled Service, the Proof of Our Sonship. Do not forget, I was, I was able to explain to you what service is and how and why you should embrace service. Today, I want to redefine what purpose means in the life of service. The real essence of your coming to this world was never to hurt the number of the people who live. The real reason why God gave you to the world was not because your mom and your father had a time together one night somewhere. You are not a product of sexual intercourse. You are actually a product of a purpose. And there's no purpose without service. As a matter of fact, look around you. Look at your house presently, in your car, in your office. Where are you listening to this message of mine? What do you see? Can you see a cop? A TV set? What is it that you can look at? Your laptop? Name it. Your car? Your radio set? Whatever you can look at presently is a product of a man. And such a man didn't produce that thing until he has something that is within him thinking that he needed to solve. Every product you see on planet Earth today, they are products, they are products from the mind of a man who think of service. Car is given to serve. And so when the car fails to serve, it becomes useless. Have you wondered one money when you wake up and start your car and it's not responding? Maybe there's a technical or mechanical fault in that car. It could not work, it could not move. It becomes useless to you. Your usefulness is attached to your service. The world does not need you if you fail to be useful to the world. Believe me, you wouldn't need to exist. If your existence is not basically on the fact that you are solving a problem. It is when you find your position in life and you begin to solve, that is when you become useful to anyone. Okay, how come you throw away that broken glass? You give us your spoiled phone. Have you forgotten that your laptop became faulty and you throw it into the trash. After drinking the moths in the can, the moths, you throw the can into the trash. You know the reason why? When anything becomes useless, in other words, when anything does not serve its role of service anymore, no one needs to keep them. As a matter of fact, anyone who keeps them, it is given a name in psychology, they call it schizophrenia. That is, you are getting mad. The same way it is presently that if you are not useful to the world, you have no use. That is why Jesus said, Ye are the salt of the world. He said, If when you lose your savour, listen to that statement. It was saying, When you lose your flavor, meaning that when your service is taken away from you, when you are no longer relevant and useful to the society, you will become something throw off. And he said, people will scramble, they will walk on you. If you understand that statement very well, you will know our life is designed for service. And the purpose that God has created you is for service. You want to ask me, how do I start serving? When? Your service life starts by identifying and discovering your purpose. You didn't come to heart to the number. You come to be a solution to your problem. When you find that problem and you commit yourself to it, serve in your feet. Become diligent. Show me a man that is diligent in his business. That business means in his own purpose. You can be diligent doing somebody's assignment for that person. The person is receiving glorious 
reward from God a man and you are becoming useless to God and your world. You must find your own place of assignment. And don't forget, your assignment could be that you should support somebody else. But before you start doing that, find out is that your calling. And when you find that, never you think of who are the people God will give to me. The first thing you must think of is who are the people I am sent to serve. When you can identify the people you are sent to serve in your area of your calling, life has begun. And then, where is the heart of a servant? Jesus becoming a servant, leaving everything that made him a son and serving humanity. I want you to know that service is a true definition of your purpose. Find your purpose, serve, and you will be great in it. The next time we see on this platform, I remain is your good and valuable. You have been great. Bless. You.